Hi, I'm Max Ephraim and I'm a technical sales associate at Omron Automation. Today I'll be giving a tutorial on our F3SG safety light curtain for how to set up external device monitoring, also known as EDM, using the dip switches located with our intelligent tab right here. In case you're unfamiliar with EDM, this allows you to monitor and diagnose your external relays and is required to meet safety standards up to category four when using relays. After doing this, I'll show you how to safely remove your intelligence app and program other safety light curtains using similar functions. Before we get started, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your intelligence app and safety light curtain is powered off. After doing so, you're gonna to wanna to remove the intelligent tap cover right here by using a Phillips screwdriver. Once removed, you will be able to see the, the dip switches that you will need to program your safety light curtain. In order to program EDM, you're gonna to wanna to make sure dip switch number one, two, and three are in the on position. Dip switch number one is going to put your light curtain into the lock state. Dip switch two is going to enable you to make programming changes with the dip switch. And dip switch three is going to enable EDM. Once you have dip switches one through three in the on state and dip switches four through eight in the off position, what you want to do is power your safety light curtain on. As you can see, um, you can check the indicator lights on top to make sure that the EDM was properly downloaded to your safety light curtain. So green and orange means that everything was downloaded properly. Um, if you did receive a red air light, what you wanna do is power your system off and check the wiring of your system. But in this state, since everything's good to go, what we wanna do is power the system back off, wait a couple seconds, and then power back on again. Now your safety light curtain's good to go. Um, it is common, however, to get another red air light on the second restart. Um, in this case, what you want to do is perform a backup procedure. So I'll go ahead and show you how this is done. So first off, what you want to do is power your system off again. And then reset all your dip switches to the off position. Once in the off position for dip switches one through eight, you're going to want to power your system back on. You observe that there's an orange blinking light. And from here, you'll wanna locate the, the white button in the upper right hand corner of your intelligent tab and hold it down for a couple seconds until it starts to blink a little bit faster. From here, what you wanna do is power your safety light curtain off. And then you will want to set the dip switches to your desired programming, which is dip switches one, two, and three in the on position. Once they're in the right position, what you want to do is power your light curtain back on and everything will be programmed properly. From here, you can reattach your intelligent tap cover by screwing in the, the four screws. Um, for this example, I'm just going to do it pretty, pretty loose, but um, for your application, you want to make sure it's pretty tight to make sure that no debris or water will seep in there. Now, to remove this intelligent tap, what you want to do is power your system back off and remove the two cables located right here. And for this example, I had the emitter and receiver hooked up, but for other programming, all you really need is the receiver cable. Well, I'll go ahead and remove these two cables as so. And you're going to want to reconnect your cables according to your desired application. For this example, I'm going to go ahead and just connect these two for demonstration purposes. Make sure they're fast and tightly and then turn the system back on. So now your light curtain is programmed with EDM and to confirm that everything is working properly, you can just pass your hand through the light curtain to make sure it is signaling an output and um, which it is and to confirm further to make sure EDM is set up. Um, what you can do is remove one of these G7 relays. So when this relay is removed, then your light curtain will not work. However, when it is placed back into the right position, now your light curtain is working properly. So that wraps up setting up EDM on your safety light curtain using the dip switches on the intelligent tab. 
If you're interested in learning more about any of Omron's vast product lines, please visit our website at automation.omron.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.